वेलकम बैक टू पेगा बाइट्स यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एग्रीगेट सोर्सेस व्हिच इज़ ऑलरेडी बीन रिलीज्ड इन तेलुगु वर्जन सो दिस वुड बी इन इंग्लिश वर्जन व्हाट इज एग्रीगेट सोर्सेस यू माइट बी लिजनिंग अबाउट दिस एग्रीगेट वर्ड प्रीवियसली आल्सो इन द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वॉट हाउ डू यू ऑप्टिमाइज दी एग्रीगेट प्रॉपर्टीज सो वॉट यू मीन बाई एग्रीगेट प्रॉपर्टीज मल्टीपल the properties which have uh, a multiple values multiple properties again inside it it's like your page list or page group or page single page these are 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 aggregate properties similar to that in data page also we have source which is of aggregate sources from 8.4 onwards where you can have multiple sources here in which you will be retrieving the data from the multiple applications so how do you get this so you would be using an activity to retrieve those and save that into one single or into the one uh, single source okay so previously you we, we used to do that but now when uh, from 8.4 onwards pega has given as uh, this particular option which is like uh, uh, called as aggregate sources where multiple so multiple sources can be added over here so what could be the multiple sources under aggregate sources sir similar to your things like connector data transform report definition lookup activity and all so in this exam i am fetching some car details from the outside um, i mean from the other application so as i don't have any other application so as i don't have any other applications right now i am going with the two data types like car and vehicle where uh, data is coming up from the uh, these two things so there is a report definition in cars and as well as in the vehicle so i am taking those two report definitions here data edit table editable report and data table editable report here okay so this particular data page is of source list and which is written in the another class which is data dash applicant so whenever your object type is another class and you are doing aggregate sources whether whether it can be any other any any other thing any other one also like uh, data transform or activity whatever it is the source okay so and your name the source is from different class which is not your object type then you have to write response data transform over here so this response data transform will take care of uh, copying the things uh, or mapping the things into our clipboard okay so even even when you write within the same application also or within the same thing uh same uh, data dash applicant i am writing here data data dash applicant so let me change this to okay so i am removing this now you can see over here uh even though these two are same the object type Uh, bank app and uh, this one i mean bank app data dash car both are same still it requires response data transform when it is aggregate sources now i'll take a uh, report definition directly and if i have a report definition within the car so i'll take this can you see if i save this it will save it see it is not a mandatory one so observe when it is mandatory and when it is not mandatory though the object type are same and your source is object type and the source uh, is same i mean the source here same but if the if you are going to take aggregate sources then your response data transform is mandatory okay so this is what uh, in aggregate sources will be done why 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 do you, why this response data transform is mandatory over here this is mandatory because you are going to retrieve data from multiple sources so when you are saying that it has to be retrieved from multiple sources definitely you need to map to a particular property where all these sources are clubbed or merged into one so that that is where you do the mapping so response data transforms uh, responsibility is that okay <clears throat> so we are going to write a response data transform over here and aggregate sources name is also important and i'm going to take another one which is coming from the different class that is vehicle 
I have already created these two these rules vehicle save so save let us execute this okay so I have written here PA workpage dot uh, car details you can see here it is calling the vehicle data which is of uh, which is of coming from the uh, another applicant okay so I need to let me delete uh, this let me save as I can't delete this That problem has come because I changed the object type. Okay, so the reason it was not showing me the data page. Now you can see the data page is there. Okay, so let me use that in my case type auto loan. Get car details let me delete this add my field car data inside this okay submit see nothing has come okay so why why nothing has come because in my fetch PY work page it is auto loan but here these properties might be different okay car data yeah and if I save this it will throw an error because the it is doesn't it does not have these properties I think there is no need of adding like this because both are of same class Apple and map tree is not necessary here. Yes, car it has come, but only eighteen has come. Why only eighteen has come? Because my first this report definition is working fine okay this report definition is working fine but the other one is not coming up problem is we are not changing the uh, data over here so it should come into car data again this will be giving errors because car details is not having those class those names mapping is not done it is it was doing in some other class and this is was this was doing in a different class okay so this is how the aggregate sources will work so there might be some duplicate data also so we need to check whether it is having duplicate data or not if this is having duplicate data then you have to you have to remove that duplicate data using post load processing here you can you have to write an activity and in that activity check for the duplication so if the duplication is there then you can easily delete it yeah that's it thank you